Hidden cause number 19, why you still have low thyroid symptoms, even though you may be taking thyroid medication, and even though your lab tests look normal, is elevated testosterone causing low thyroxine binding globulins, causing too much T4 and T3 leading to resistance. <laughs> So let me back up. That's a big mouthful. So the, the basic problem in this hidden cause is you got too much testosterone. And what it's doing is it's lowering what are called thyroxin binding globulins, or TBGs. What TBGs do is they're like little taxi cabs that carry T4 and T3 around your body. You've got to have them. When there's too many thyroxin binding globulins, or TBGs, then the hormones can't get off of those taxi cabs and get into a free form state because free-form hormones are what can get into the tissues. So in this hidden cause, the problem is you've got not enough taxi cabs, and you've got lots of free-form hormones floating around. And what they do is end up causing a problem called resistance. And it's, it's kind of like similar if you think of it like a plant, like if you've ever tried to you know, grow a plant or garden. Uh, plants like to have a little bit of water every day, but they don't like to be bombarded. They don't like to have the water dumped on them. If they do, you know, they shut down. Well, the receptors in your body for T3, they're just like that. They like to have, you know, a certain amount of T3 around, you know, to make them do their thing. But if you bombard them or dump a bunch of T3 on them, they'll shut down and become resistant. And your thyroid numbers may look normal, but you'll have lots of low thyroid symptoms. And the low thyroid symptoms are things like depression, brain fog, hair loss, fatigue, muscle pain, uh, high cholesterol, infertility, you know, uh, having to sleep an excessive amount of time. You'll have low thyroid symptoms, even though you may look like you have okay numbers. Now that, of course, assumes that your doctor is actually running all the numbers you need to look at. If they just run a TSH and T4, they'll never pick up this problem. It'll never show up. If your doctor also runs free T4, free T3, and T3 uptake, then this might show up. And on labs, kind of what it looks like is your T3 uptake um, will be uh, high, which means your binding globulins are low which means you got a lot of free form hormones and testosterone is the number one thing that causes this now how would a woman get too much testosterone well the number one reason is through high blood sugar or insulin resistance women that have chronically high blood sugar they, they get surges of insulin in an attempt to get rid of that blood sugar and that surge of insulin causes them to make more testosterone and that testosterone is what causes these binding globulins to drop and there would be too many free-form hormones, which leads to resistance and low thyroid symptoms. So in a woman that has this particular mechanism, if the doctor doesn't run all the tests, they may not see it. If they do run all the tests, what they might see is a T3 uptake that is high, which means the binding globulins are low, so they got to understand that part. And they might see free T4 and free, T3, free T3 that are high. However, those little free T4 and free T3, a lot of people seem to put a lot of weight into those they're not everything because they're kind of ephemeral. They're not that stable. A better uh, marker to look at in terms of what your uh, TBG is doing is the T3 uptake. So testosterone in the women that's doing this is usually because their blood sugar is not regulated. And that has a lot to do with what you're eating. I mean, if you're overeating simple carbs, you're eating crap food, it's a good chance you're going to get insulin resistant. If you're having lots of inflammation, inflammation can also make you insulin resistant. I did, just did a video recently about H. pylori and how that can lead to type 2 diabetes. So if you've got anything that's causing inflammation, being it a uh, bacterial infection or a, a, a stealth GI infection or a food sensitivity, anything that's inflaming you can lead to high cortisol and can lead to this testosterone problem. So uh, in a woman that's having low thyroid symptoms but their labs may look okay, but they've got blood sugar symptoms, which I'm about to tell you about, you got to consider this mechanism. So the classic sort of insulin resistance symptom is getting tired after you eat. You get sleepy, like you want to go to sleep. Uh, you also may crave sweets right after you eat. You may also uh, have trouble going to sleep at night. But that classic one is getting sleepy after you eat. So if you're getting sleepy after you eat and you got those low thyroid symptoms, insulin resistance might be the issue here. And testosterone could be causing you to have not enough binding globulins too many freeform hormones, which leads to resistance, which causes low thyroid symptoms. Now, I know that's a lot of things in play, so it's really important you find a doctor who knows what I'm talking about. It's not, <laughs> not as simple as running a TSH and T4 and that's it, or saying, you know, everybody's got Hashimoto's, although a lot of people do. This could be a mechanism for you. And to make it even a little more complicated, you could have Hashimoto's 
and this hidden cause at the same time because there's no rule that says you can only have one thing. You have whatever you have, and you may have hidden cause number 19, which is too much testosterone causing uh, too many free-form hormones and resistance.